Oh, just out doing a bit of shopping. What shopping I can under all this crap. Uh, in the G-Wagon, it's hot today. 28 Celsius, which is, I don't know, 80. Plus humidity and stuff. Turn the air conditioner on. Everything seems fine, but I do get this um, under voltage switch consumers off. When I turn them all off, it goes away after a minute. More than likely the alternator, voltage regulator, or battery. Um, but if you get this uh, little thingy come on on your dash, well, let's check it out and figure out which one it is. G-Wagon, um, it's going to be the same on any Mercedes. You want to get to your battery. On a G-Wagon, it's under the passenger seat. But there is the little battery terminals out front. I'm speaking behind here so you don't hear the engine. Um, and what I'm going to do, I've got my cheapest, crappiest voltage tester. They're five bucks. You can get a crappy one anywhere. The one I usually carry around in my car. And I'm going to test on the G-Wagon. There's a little voltage post here. It's a positive. It's underneath a little cap under the hood. And then there's a negative right here. A little blue, blue paint on it. And I'm just going to hook up to that. We're going to see what uh, voltage we have. I can do this with one hand. Okay, we're sitting at 14.29, which should be fine. It's actually a little high. 14 volts is not really where you want to be charging at. It should be a little lower than that. So what I'm now going to do is turn the engine off. And with the engine off, the alternator's not putting out juice. So now we can see what the battery is sitting at. Check again. Fourteen point six. That is not good. That is too high. There's no way it's fourteen point six. There's no way my volt batteries. I believe that little yellow electrical tester has been in my trunk too long because 14.6, yeah, my battery would be exploding um, if it was at 14 volts with it off. So anyway, I've got another electrical tester and we're going to try that engine off and then we'll try it engine on again, one-handed. Connect. Let's see what this sucker says. Eleven volts. That's more like it. Now let's start the car and see what the actual voltage is from the alternator. between 12 and 13. So my assumption is going to be that it's the uh, alternator or the voltage regulator, one of the two. M112, M113 engine, basically the same. Alternator right down there, not tough to replace. This one, I don't know if I can do it from the top or if I can have to pull it out the bottom. It might fit out the top. Not that I have a problem going down the bottom. I think there's tons of room. Anyway, your voltage regulator is attached to the back of the alternator. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little black box on the back. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But we will check the, uh, the battery. I'm going to check the, uh, put a load tester on the battery. Which in the G-Wagon is under the passenger seat. So, um, back at no second. malfunction, um, just with the air turned off for a few minutes and the uh, driving lights off. So, um, yeah, we're gonna, oh, now it's back again. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave it running for a minute while I uh, 
pop off the back uh, seat and grab the Before battery. I check the battery, which is very unlikely to be the cause right now, there's one more thing I want to test, and that's rev up the engine while checking the voltage. If I rev it up, the alternator should produce more voltage. And uh, let's take a look. Can I have these positioned in here while well, you guys watch and I use any four freaking hands? Okay, right now we're at 10 volts, which it shouldn't be. I'm going to rev the engine by hand. Yeah, 10 volts. Pretty damn sure it's the voltage regulator. Okay, now at this point where we're pretty sure it's an alternator problem, not battery. Again, I haven't tested the battery yet because I'm going to have to charge the battery and then put a load tester on it when I'm pretty sure right now that it's the, the alternator. Because it's not making any voltage when it's, uh, when it's revved up. I'm going to take a screwdriver. And I don't hear any funny noises coming from my alternator right now, but just to be sure, because I don't want to replace a voltage regulator when I need to replace a whole alternator. So on my alternator, while the engine's running, carefully, without touching a belt, I'm going to touch this screwdriver to the body of the alternator and put my ear to it, to the other end, to the handle, and listen. And there are no noises coming through. There's no crunching, no groaning. You'll, you'll hear it. <laughs> it's like a this mechanic stethoscope. Uh, new project, KLR650. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> more on that later so we're pretty sure it is the alternator uh, voltage regulator and uh, but I will pull out that battery and charge it just so we can test the battery as well and I'll show you that in a few minutes but first I'm gonna shut up the car now, considering it was only 10 11 volts it should still have the warning which it does Not overheating, so nothing there. Possibility of the um, cooling, the secondary cooling fans coming on and putting too much of a load on the on the alternator and battery. It's not, it's not coming on. So let's shut this off. And we'll go around and show you where the battery is on a G-Wagon. Nope. First we have to move the seat, passenger seat as far forward as possible. Boondog Saints. Boondock, not dog. <laughs> and then lift the back just to get more room. rear cup holder to Phillips screws in the center of each cup holder and then it just pops off obviously you can see where they're screwed in there and this is also where the tool kit is down here half a turn half a turn you can pop this for the tool kit before doing that but that's where the tool kit lives if you've ever got one or borrowed one and don't uh, know where the tool kit is and need it, that's where it is. And no one will ever find it if they don't know. Oh. oh, I think I have to put my driver's seat forward too. Don't do this often, so I can't remember. Back okay, the driver's seat moved forward and up a bit. And now the center part just pulls out. This big steel carpeted. <laughs> Guess what that is? Battery, batteria. Uh, I do not see a date on it. Is there a date code on it? I don't know. So anyway, I'll pull off the positive cover. Let's get a reading directly from the battery. Let me grab my tester. Okay, negative. 
positive. What are you showing? 11 volts. So the battery's only got 11 volts in it, so most likely it is the alternator not charging it past that. But we don't know that 100% yet, and I'm not going to go replacing parts uh, without knowing for sure. Oh, by the way, a few uh, <laughs> uh, G-Wagons. Lots of freaking wiring everywhere. Just crammed into every nook and cranny. Look at that. You should see un underneath the center console, you should see what's jammed into there. Kind of scary, actually. Anyway, I'm going to put this on a charger for a little bit, and we will see if it takes and holds a charge. If it takes and holds a charge, and I put the battery load tester on it, and it's good, we know 100%. It is the alternator. But again, this is like a two three hundred dollar battery probably a three hundred dollar battery so i'm not going to and the voltage regulator is probably a hundred bucks um i'm not going to replace the voltage regulator without knowing 100 percent for sure second fuse panel in under there pain in the ass to get to <laughs> anyway i uh <clears throat> yeah let's uh put some voltage on this we'll charge it up and uh be back in a couple hours once the trickle charger charges this. Okay, negative, positive. What are you showing? 11 volts. So the battery's only got 11 volts in it, so most likely it is the alternator not charging it past that, but we don't know that 100% yet. I'm not gonna go replacing parts uh, without knowing for sure. Oh, by the way, a few uh, <laughs> uh, G-Wagons. Lots of freaking wiring everywhere. Just crammed into every nook and cranny. Look at that. You should see un underneath the center console, you should see what's jammed into there. Kind of scary, actually. Anyway, I'm going to put this on a charger for a little bit, and we will see if it takes and holds a charge. If it takes and holds a charge, and I put the battery load tester on it, and it's good, we know 100%. It is the alternator. But again, this is like a two three hundred dollar battery probably a three hundred dollar battery so i'm not going to and the voltage regulator is probably a hundred bucks um i'm not going to replace the voltage regulator without knowing 100 percent for sure second fuse panel in under there pain in the ass to get to <laughs> anyway i uh <clears throat> yeah let's uh put some voltage on this we'll charge it up and uh be back in a couple hours once the trickle charger charges this Okay, I've got the Noco Genius. I don't like this charger, but whatever. It will, uh, it'll charge it up. <laughs> I don't want to put the snap-on on. The snap-on is like a, it's like an overload murder charger. It's like a, an old-time charger where you'd put it on a battery and, and, yeah, you might blow it up because it puts too many amps through it, but uh, <laughs> it's 1975 and the batteries are 15 bucks. Um, Battery's a little more sophisticated these days. I do use it, but uh, for engine boosting and stuff. But it's, I'll show you, the, it's, it's a mean bastard. <laughs> that sucker, I've had it for years. And uh, it's, um, yeah, probably 30, 35 years old. It, uh, it's a little too overkill for most batteries. Uh, using it for engine starting and stuff is fine. And for pumping a bit of juice in one, but I wanna make sure this one gets charged slowly and properly and it's showing still only 25 percent so this battery is pretty low so the alternate either the battery was dead and the alternator just couldn't keep up with it and you have a ba bad battery it will kill the alternator bad alternator will kill a battery um <laughs> so it's still a crapshoot and i won't know until that's charged so i'll be back in a few i talk too much don't i anyway back in a bit well i broke down and put the mangler on it at low um and I do mean mangler. Look at the amperage on it. It's a 420 amp boost and a regular uh, 60, 70 amps. So I've got it on low just to make sure it's not overcharging. So let's take the cables off. Hook up the hook because it will read middle arrow. Tens of volts, and the other one won't. The other tester will not, and it drives me nuts, but it won't. The hook says 12.4. OK, 
Okay, that should be good enough for a test for the toaster. And this is a battery load tester, which is essentially a toaster. Um, honestly, there's a heating coil inside here, and when you push the button, it sends power through the heating coil. It's a big heating coil. You can probably see it in there, inside under the fins. It's just like a bit, it is, it's just a big heating coil. <laughs> and that makes a lot of draw on the battery. And tell us whether it's good or not. So let's look at that. Okay, so it's up in the good area. Oh, sorry. It's up in the good region, and then we push and hold this. And we don't want it to go down to weak or bad. Uh, but up, uh, that's a little weak, but it's not fully charged. It's just over 12 volts. So, the battery is not charged long enough, but the char battery is not bad. Um, I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad, bad. Um, I have older, ordered the voltage regulator, and unfortunately, oh, I'm upside down. <laughs> unfortunately, it's gonna take about a week and a half to get here. So, this car is, uh, no-go for about a week until I get my voltage regulator. Uh, in the G500, unlike other Mercedes, you cannot replace the regulator with the alternator in the car. It's just too tight. A lot of them, you, there's space behind the uh, alternator, but on the G-Wagon, there just isn't. Um, there's a big heat shield behind there. I mean, space considerations, I guess. But... As you can see down in there, you see the voltage regulator, that black part there, and then right behind it, there's a heat shield that wraps over the top. See the silvery piece there, that silver piece? There's no way to get it there and unscrew the regulator. It doesn't matter, the alternator's two bolts and five minutes to get out. But uh, we'll cover that another day. For today, I am done. But we did determine that the battery is taking a charge and uh, isn't that bad. Again, I didn't... I didn't leave it on the mangler for long. Um, it's, uh, it does need a, a, a low voltage uh, charge, a low amperage voltage, sorry, low amperage uh, uh, charge to, uh, to just top it up and peak it off. So I'm going to hook a, a small trickle charger to it to keep it, to, to boost it up the end of the way. Again, this is old technology, this old snap on it's It's not meant for taking care of batteries, so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry, no end result, but we do know it's the voltage regulator. The battery is fine. Thanks for watching.